My name is Peter Landris. I'm an ecologist at the Aldo Leopold Wilderness Research Institute that is run by the Forest Service. So I'm working on several projects, but I'm going to focus on one. And it's a project that I've been working on for about a decade. And it came from wilderness managers asking for understanding how, we, how we're doing in wilderness. That's the overall question. What are we doing in wilderness? Are we succeeding in our management or are we not? And this is an, a question that no one had posed before. And so part of my job, I have the luxury of working with wilderness managers and working closely with them, which is something that I really enjoy doing. And so they pose this question, can you help us figure out, are we succeeding in our management of wilderness? So I worked with a team of Forest Service wilderness managers starting in 2000. So in 2000, we met as a team to ask the question, what should we be monitoring in wilderness to evaluate whether or not we're actually succeeding in preserving wilderness? And the reason that's so important is that the Wilderness Act has a single legal mandate, and that mandate is preserve wilderness character. But wilderness character had never been defined, and if it hasn't been defined, then how do managers know if they're fulfilling the law and actually preserving wilderness character and preserving the attributes, whatever those attributes are, for future generations. So it gets to the heart of why do we have wilderness, what are we doing with wilderness, and are we actually stewarding wilderness the way we're supposed to be doing this? So that's the basic thing that I've been working on for the last 15 years. Um, so we're at the phase now where we're starting to implement this wilderness character monitoring in all four agencies, and those four agencies are the Forest Service, who I work for, the National Park Service, the Bureau of Land Management and the Fish and Wildlife Service. Um, it's not everyone is aware that all four agencies have management authority and responsibilities for designated wilderness. So anything that happens in, across the National Wilderness Preservation System has to deal with these four agencies. And as soon as we deal with four agencies, we're dealing with different policies that each agency has for implementing the Wilderness Act tradition and culture as well as politics within each agency. So it's been an interesting process would be a polite way to say it. We started very purposely with the Forest Service because that was the original ask that I had from Forest Service wilderness managers that kicked all this off. We made a very conscious effort to focus on the Forest Service and not try to do this all across the four agencies. We did have agency representation on this Forest Service team but it was very purposeful to develop this monitoring strategy within the Forest Service and then if we could figure this out focusing on just one agency's policies, traditions, cultures and politics then we could then we could work with the other agencies to figure out how to export this strategy to the other agencies and develop a system that would work across all four management agencies.